Dennis Smith hit him just as he caught the ball, but he was already in the end zone. That's his third touchdown catch of the afternoon. Uh, he's amazing. He's just doing things that no one else in this league is doing. Jerry Rice! Oh, what a catch by Rice! Touchdown, 49ers! Jerry Rice continues to set records in the Super Bowl. I think every Super Bowl that I played in has something special. The heavy favorite, the San Francisco 49ers, going for their third Super Bowl win in this decade. Super Bowl 23, that was my first one ever being on that stage. From Mississippi Valley State, wide receiver, number 80, pro bowler, Jerry Rice. I remember playing that season, I had a sore ankle. I sort of doubted myself a little bit that I would be able to perform at a very high level. Well, the question at San Francisco would be, are they gonna be 100% healthy? Jerry Rice hurt his ankle Monday. I knew it was gonna be a very physical football game, and that's when you have to really pay more attention to the little things, route running, being able to come out of your cuts, get separation where the quarterback can throw the football, and I think I was at my best doing Super Bowl 23. The second down and 10 from the 14. He's back to throw. Quick pass for Rice. A touchdown, 49ers! My first Super Bowl touchdown, the play before the Cincinnati Bengals defensive back had an opportunity to make an interception and somehow he dropped the football. So the next play they came to me and I had an angle route. I go straight to the corner. Joe throws the ball. Now, all of a sudden, I can use my creativity to get the ball into the end zone. I was headed out of bounds, and out of desperation, I stuck the ball over the goal line, and it resulted in a touchdown. It's something I'll never forget. He hung that ball out over that goal line. I don't think there'll be any review of that, nope. Well, if the 49ers win this one, guess who's going to be an MVP? Taping Jerry Rice's ankle. There's the famous ankle. And maybe he's begun to take a toll on that ankle. Three minutes, 10 seconds left in the ball game. Joe Montana comes into the huddle. He squats down. He's going to call two plays. Someone says something about John Candy being in the stands. And I had blinders on because I was so focused on what I had to do on the football field. Then Joe called the first two plays. We broke the huddle, the two minute drill didn't even hit a crowd, and every catch was an important catch. And we had to move the ball over 80 yards downfield to win that Super Bowl. Montana back to throw. Throws over the middle, a fine catch by right. Right into the 20, he's down to the 19. The big catch, it was a deep over. And I had man-to-man, -man, defensive back up in my face and I knew I had to get the correct depth downfield so Montana could make the throw. And he threw the perfect ball. I was able to catch it over the middle, break two tackles, almost scored. And I joke around with John Taylor about this all the time, that if he had made that block, I would have scored that touchdown. But you got to think about, if I had scored that touchdown that fast, they had more time on the clock. So I believe things happen for a reason. Rice has just set a Super Bowl record with 12 catches. He's in motion. Montana, touchdown, John Taylor. And the 49ers have won the Super Bowl as they win it on a brilliant 98-yard drive, 20 to 16. When John Taylor caught that ball, I remember just running around the field and, and my teammates, they're running to congratulate me. They can't catch me. So it's a lot going on. You really don't know if you have won the MVP to the last second. Someone runs up to you and say, hey, you won the most valuable player. <laughs> but when you hear that, then you know that you really did something special on that day. You had several important catches, big plays, uh, a leaping catch of a Montana bomb midway through the second half, and the touchdown play where you, you curled the ball around the flag. Your thoughts on those? I knew we had to make some plays, and uh, whenever Joe put the ball up in there, we just tried to go up and fight for it. Uh, everybody deserved the credit, and I'm, I'm just glad to be a part of it. No one is going to remember the loser. You only get one opportunity to kick that door in, and I feel like it was with the greatest team ever, the San Francisco 49ers. And Jerry Rice 
I've heard there's a new TV series coming out based on your Super Bowl performance. I guess you could call it a new NBC series, Miami Rice. <laughs> you have to go to New York and they announce that you have won this car. I called my mom up and said, hey, look, I want to give it to you. It was a little too small for me. <laughs> Super Bowl 24. Uh, Mike, one of the great matchups of this game really will be the Broncos safeties and the two gentlemen who will have to take on the 49ers wide receivers. Going up against the two big safeties, Atwater and also Smith. On the program, I used to always say I was 6'2", 6'3", or something like that. I'm only 6'1". <laughs> the first drive down by the end zone, that was the third receiver where Joe would come back to over the middle. My job is to position myself over the ball and wait for him to look back to me and give me eye to eye. Then I try to make a move to get separation and catch the football. First period, they're at the Bronco 20, second down, eight to go. Here's Montana looking over the middle, and it's caught. Five yard line, touchdown. Jerry Rice, the man who catches the ball, and he bumped off a couple of Broncos down at the five yard line and took it right into the end zone. It was just exactly what Bill Walsh said. They deliver the blow, but they don't wrap up. And I think that's why I was able to get my team the momentum on the board early. The ball at the 38-yard line. Rice to the right, Craig in motion to the right. Pump fake by Montana, launches it for the end zone! Jerry Rice! Oh, what a catch by Rice! Touchdown, 49ers, 38-yard touchdown pass down the middle. On the second touchdown, it was a circus post. I go down and I really fake hard like I'm gonna go to the corner. And I have to really sell that until the last second, then I break it back to the post. We wanted to try to score quickly before halftime. I remember practicing this over and over and over until it's almost like you doing a dance. You have done it so many times in your head and I was able to really sell that circus post and open up like the Red Sea. Joe threw the ball and I was able to make that catch. So Jerry Rice just having a typical Super Bowl afternoon for him, uh, Wayne. He's got five catches, 108 yards and two touchdowns. And the Denver Broncos are gonna be a very depressed group when they go to the locker room now. They won't even like the Snoopy halftime show. So when I come to the line of scrimmage, I'm looking to see exactly what the defense is doing to me. If it's gonna be man to man, if it's gonna be zone. On that third touchdown, my job is to go straight down the middle because I'm in that slot position. Montana drops back to throw, looks over the field, goes for the end zone, Jerry Rice, touchdown 49ers! Smith had the beat on me. I knew he was gonna really deliver the blow. And this was a long time ago. When he hit me, I think his helmet hit the ball and that knocked the wind out of me. And I couldn't breathe. I'm on the ground and my teammates are asking me, they're like, are you okay? And I can't get a breath. And I'm saying like, no, no, I'm not okay. When there's a big collision like that, to be able to hold onto the football, that's something that I really prided myself on. Dennis Smith hit him just as he caught the ball, but he was already in the end zone. Well, he's shaking up on the play, but bounces back up. That's his third touchdown catch of the afternoon. You could hear my teammates. They started celebrating a little bit. Back, back to back, back number Jack. one. And I'm saying to myself, look, the game is not over. You want to stay in that mindset. It's very important because what if the opponent tries to come back towards the end and they start gaining momentum? You got to be ready for that. So until those final seconds ticked off, then I knew the ball game was over. The San Francisco 49ers have repeated as Super Bowl champion. Steve Atwater tried to decapitate you down by the goal line. The thing I tried to do, just focus in on the football, and uh, I was able to really keep my balance and get into the end zone. You know, if I didn't love this game, I wouldn't be doing this. The way I trained during the off season, to play the game for over 20 years. I only took two weeks off, then I was right back into my training, so I never got out of shape. I wanted the fourth quarter to be just like the first quarter. I want to wear my opponent out. I don't want to give him a chance to get his breath. So even on run plays, 
I'm running 40 to 50 yards downfield. Now, eventually, because of my conditioning, you're not gonna be able to keep up. You know, I used to run this infamous hill that was about two and a half miles up. Then the last 800 meters is straight up hill. And I was one of those guys that always would finish that. And that really gave me that little extra that I needed towards the end. Bill Walsh always said this, if you put the work in, at least you have a chance. If you don't put the work in, you don't have a chance at all. My third one, Super Bowl 29 with Steve Young. Steve Young brought something different to the game because now you got more of a running quarterback and also the different spin on the football because I had never caught a football from a lefty and the rotation on the ball goes that way. So during practice, I would have this trainer, he was a lefty and I used to catch so many balls from him so I could get comfortable with Steve. And whoever they put behind center, I have to make them look really good. From the 44, they take it to Floyd. Young to the air, Young to Jerry Rice. Touchdown, San Francisco. Well, that's quite a statement their defense made. Mm. The lightning bolts were just hit by one. Jerry Rice, his fifth Super Bowl touchdown, splitting defensive safety men. And they was almost like they were paralyzed there, but almost like they were looking for an autograph as he went by. And I really ran down and I did that circus post again. To really fake it like I'm going to the corner <laughs> and be patient, then break it back to the post. Steve Young was able to hit me and we were able to jump on the San Diego Chargers really fast. It's third and 13 to 15 after the timeout. Young throws, Jerry Wright, touchdown. I had a grade four separated shoulder and I come in motion, and if you notice on that film, I can't really use my left side. Now the ball is coming my direction. And I'm thinking to myself, it's just no way I'm gonna be able to get my hand up over my head. And I was able to get my left hand up with my right hand, and I was able to make that catch. And I made the catch, and I was able to fall into the end zone. Jerry landed awkwardly in the end zone. He Looked like he uh, took a shot on the left side again when he went down. A lot of my teammates after that, they had to run down to help me up, but I had to keep that momentum going. And if you called my number, somehow I was going to get it done. Six Super Bowl touchdown receptions for Rice. Is that correct, Doc? The third one was a slant. You always come to the line of scrimmage with a plan. A double move, triple move, whatever it takes to get that defensive back uncomfortable to make him move his feet. It was difficult because I didn't really have the left shoulder, but I still had to try to get open. So I'm really gonna sell it like I'm going outside until the defensive back turns, then I'm gonna try to break it back inside. We walk along the press box with the foreign languages that are with broadcasting being here. Rice making the catch, stretching and reaching, touchdown San Francisco. And I was able to break it back inside. Steve threw the ball low. I got down low and I caught the ball and my teammates, they had to help me up again. I have to tell you guys this because the doctors really didn't think that I would be able to play with that separation. But to have the pain tolerance to fight through that, it has to be right here in your heart. And that was something that I always had. I was gonna outwork you, leave everything on the football field, inspire my teammates, and help my team win Super Bowl 29. Three Super Bowls, 28 receptions, 512 yards, seven touchdowns. Jerry Rice is the best. When you win the Super Bowl, I think you reflect on everything. My father was a bricklayer and he used to take me to work with him during the summer. Very demanding work. And on the way back home, he would drop me off at B.L. Moore High School where I had football practice for about two hours. Then after football practice, I had to run home, which was maybe five to 10 miles. All the hard work, it was instilled in me by my parents. But to get back to the Super Bowl with the Raiders against Tampa Bay, I was excited. We play together, they cannot stay on the field with us. All right, Raiders on three. One, two, three, Raiders! That would have been special to help Tim Brown get a ring. Because I always had idolized this guy across the bay, but we never had the opportunity to play together. Then all of a sudden we were wearing the same uniform. 
That's my man right there, Tim Brown. Scotty Brown. Third and 13. I remember Rich Gannon, once I broke to the middle, he threw me a perfect ball, I was able to catch it. And as a 40 year old, I was able to out sprint those young guys and get into the end zone. It was frustrating all game long because uh, you know I felt like we had missed out on some opportunities and I finally got an opportunity to put some points on the board and I was able to do that. There's no one particular catch that describes Jerry Rice, whether it's two hands over the top of the defender, where it's racing and streaking between defenders. Rice has done it every way. Today, I don't think about all my records. I have never felt like I played the perfect game. You could score, you could have a game where you have over 10 receptions, three touchdowns. I could always see something that I could have done better. I think about the way I played the game, everything that I left on the football field. It was never a job for me. It was always a lot of fun where I could go out and entertain so many people and play a game that could really make someone's day. Think about this, to have your rings and just give it to a fan. Just a person sitting across from you, just out of nowhere. Their reaction is priceless. They're like, are you serious? I can hold your rings? I can take pictures with your rings? It makes me feel complete. And when I can bring a smile or make someone's day by doing something like that. I always love you guys, okay?